Hello friends, welcome to this online lesson on motor development during infancy. So this presentation or this lesson is the first lesson in a series of lessons which we will be doing now onwards. So this is part one to a series of lectures. Now let us understand what this series of lectures is all about. As you can see in the video, development has three components. One, the physical component, which is known as the physical development, also known as growth. The second is cognitive component and the third is the socio-emotional component. So these are the three components of development or three dimensions of development or three aspects of development. A human being develops in all these areas at the same time. And a lifespan, a human lifespan is divided into three stages. These three, three stages are given in the left column with in pink color font. So these are these stages, these life stages are infancy, childhood and adolescence. So these are the three stages. We already know in the previous lecture, we discussed what, which, what is the age range pertaining to each of these three stages. Now, the series of lectures which I mentioned a little while ago is would be about all three stages and all three developmental aspects taken one by one. For instance, the video that the lesson that you are viewing right now is a lesson on physical development during infancy or motor development during infancy. The next lesson would be motor development during childhood. The third would be motor development during adolescence. So this is how we'll be having around nine lectures for each of the stages and for each of the developmental aspect within the stage. Let us start with motor development during infancy. Infancy, as we all know, refers to the developmental period from birth to 24 months or 2 years. Now, it's very interesting to note that when an infant, when a newborn baby arrives in the world, the baby is already gifted with many behavioral responses which are known as reflexes. So, reflexes are inborn automatic responses to particular form of stimulation. Now, whenever there is a stimulation, the baby is already gifted, the infant, the newborn is already gifted to respond to that stimulation in natural ways. For instance, all infants are gifted with a reflex known as eye blink. Now, whenever there is too much stimulation to the infant's eyes, there is a natural tendency, a natural response for the infant to close the eyes. You must have observed that if you clap near the baby's eyes or you put a very strong light in the baby's eyes, the infant has a natural response of closing the eyes. This is called the eye blink reflex. Coming to another re reflex, uh, this is known as the palmer grasp. What happens is that if you put, if you place your finger in the infant's palm and press against the infant's palm, the infant grasps the finger. Now this is called the palmer grasp. The baby is gifted with many such reflexes the purpose of these reflexes is primarily survival. So baby is, the infant is already gifted with multiple reflexes which aid in the survival of the baby. As the newborn develops and acquires many more motor skills apart from reflexes, the reflexes begin to fade away. So by six months, by the age of six months, these reflexes become weaker because other motor skills emerge. Now, what are motor skills? Motor skills are muscular movements that help the infant to respond meaningfully to environmental stimulation. Now, these are the skills which the baby has control over. Reflexes are something which are natural responses to stimulation. Motor skills are voluntary responses which the infant is able to make in response to environmental stimulation. Starting from birth till two years, the infants make huge progress in terms of acquiring new motor skills. In fact, acquiring each motor skill means achieving a milestone in the 
overall course of development. Here we have the list of motor milestones which the infant achieves with the passage of time. At the age of 4 weeks or 1 month, the infant is able to lift its head. At the age of 6 weeks, the infant is able to hold its head erect and steady when held upright. You must have observed that if you hold a very young baby around 1 month, in your hands, in an upright position, the baby's head does not remain steady. Rather, the baby's head keeps making movements. This is because the infant has not yet developed the capacity to hold its head erect and steady. So this comes with around six months, six weeks of age. In the same manner, the infant keeps acquiring new motor milestones at every stage of its development. Around seven months of age, the infant is able to crawl on all fours and Every milestone opens up a new world for the infant. The infant who is around one month or two months, who is has not yet learned to crawl and make movements, uh, has a very different world from, a, from an infant who is able to crawl on all fours and explore the world around. So this every milestone has a very important implication for the life of the infant. Similarly, when the infant is able to walk, with support or maybe walk alone without support, the baby's, the infant's ability to explore the environment increases even further. So this is how the infant develops motor skills or voluntary muscular movements which help the infant make meaningful responses to the environmental stimulation. A very important thing to note here is that motor milestones are achieved in a very systematic way with mastery of simple skills at first and then these simple skills combine together to he help this infant acquire a complex skill. For instance, the simple skill of controlling the head and chest combine to form a complex motor skill of sitting with support. So the complex skills like sitting with support or sitting without support or maybe standing without support involves a combination of many simpler skills. So this, this, these simpler skills then combine together to form complex systems of action. For example, running is a complex system of action which the infant is able to gain after acquiring many simpler skills which then combine to uh, enable the infant to perform a complex system of action which is walking or running. Infant's motor development involves two kinds of skills which the infant develops. One is known as the gross motor skills and the other is fine motor skills. Gross motor skills are those skills which involve movements involving large muscles. For example, holding head, sitting, walking and running. So these are the skills which help the infant make movements, make gross movements or make large movements in the environment. These are also known as locomotor skills because they help the infant to move from one place to another with his whole body. Fine motor skills are movements involving fine muscles of the infant's body. These involve movements such as grasping, reaching and holding objects using fingers. These fine movements also help the infant to initially use spoon and fork and to put things inside the mouth using its thumb and fingers. Later on, these fine motor skills help the infant uh, to develop skills like scribbling, holding a chalk, uh, coloring with crayons, etc. So we have come to the end of this lesson on motor development during infancy. Let us quickly revise what all we have learned in this lesson. Number one, we learned meaning of keywords such as infancy, reflexes, motor milestones. Two, we learned that motor milestones develop systematically from simple skills to combination of simple skills to form complex patterns of action. Three, list of motor milestones from birth to two years. Four, motor development involves development of gross motor skills as well as fine motor skills. 
coming to the overview of development that I provided to you in the beginning of the lecture. The overview talks about the three aspects of development and the three stages, the developmental stages in which these three aspects develop simultaneously. So today in this lecture we have taken up, as you can see the tick mark, we have taken up physical development during the developmental stage called infancy. In our next lecture, we are going to understand motor development during the developmental stage called childhood. So that's all for today's lecture. Thank you.